Hi, I'm Ovi. Let's learn together Biblical Hebrew for beginners. Jubal. Jubal. Let's go to Genesis 4.21. Veshem Ahiv Jubal, hu haya avi kaltofes kinor veugab. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handled the harp and the pipe. Let's take a look at this word kinor, which means harp. From this word we have the word kineret, which means the Sea of Galilee. So if you go to Israel, you will hear the word kineret. You will know it's the Sea of Galilee. Why? Because the Sea of Galilee has a shape of a harp. And of course we have the word yubal, which means ram's horn. From this word we have the word Yobel, which means Jubilee, and in Leviticus 25 it is the year at the end of seven cycles of sabbatical years. Let's see where this word appears in another place in the Tanakh, it's, believe it or not, Isaiah 53 verse 7, but this word means something else. Why? Because of the context. You need to understand the context in order to understand that this is actually a conjugation of a verb. Which verb? This one, lehavi, which means to bring. This is a hifil verb with the root bet vav aleph. And this conjugation here is yuva, which means he it will be brought. This is a passive uh, form of the verb in the masculine singular third person in future tense. So, he, it will be brought. You need to understand the Hebrew in order to understand the text. And let's go to Leviticus 25. And you shall count for yourself seven sabbatical years, seven years seven times, and the days of these seven sabbatical years shall amount to forty-nine years for you. You shall proclaim with the shofar blasts in the seventh month, on the tenth of the month, on the day of atonement, you shall sound the shofar throughout your land. And in verse 10 we have our little word Yobel, Jubilee. And you shall sanctify the fiftieth year and proclaim freedom for slaves throughout the land, for all who live on it. It shall be a jubilee for you, and you shall return each man to his property, and you shall return each man to his family. You shall proclaim with the shofar blast, which, mean, which means ram's horn, in the seventh month, on the tenth of the month. Why the tenth of the month? Because this is the day when Moses came down the mountain with the Ten Commandments. On the day of atonement, which is the Yom Kippur, you shall sound the shofar throughout your land. Let's see Joshua 6 verse 4 where Yobel appears in a plural form, Hayobelim, which means of ram's horns. And seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark, and on the seventh day you shall encircle the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. Shofrot Hayobelim. Shofrot is the plural of shofar, which is trumpets of ram's horn. Shofrot Hayobelim. Seven priests, seven trumpets, seven days, seven times. What is with the number seven and the Yubal? Yubal was a descendant of Cain, and as it turns out, he is a seven generation from Cain. Let's take a look at Yubal, numerical value. Yud, Vav, Bet, Lamed. Yud, Ten, Vav, is 6, bet 2, lamed 30, so we have a value of 48. So the numerical value of Jubal is 48, and I was looking for this number in Leviticus 25. I can only find this 49 here in verse 8, and I can find the number 50 in verse 10, and 11, 
no 48 let's move on to same chapter verse 32 and regarding the cities of the Levites the houses of their inherited cities shall forever have a right of redemption for the Levites and it is talking more about this subject uh, the question is how many cities how many Levitical cities were in the Bible in Israel the answer is in Joshua 21 there were 48 Levitical cities because each tribe had four cities so 4 by 12 it's 48 why each tribe uh, had four cities for the Levites because Levites supposed to be dispersed throughout the land of Israel so in the same way as the shofar uh, the ram's horn is sounding is blasting throughout the land in the same way the Levites were dispersed throughout the, throughout the land of Israel thanks for watching my first video on this channel.